these people have grown up believing that the other communities are the enemy. Yeah. Today, any local Turkana or Marrakesh little boy knows that the people are the enemy, and, and vice versa. So, whenever you bring them on board, there's always that suspicion. Number two, a police officer working in that area, or any security officer working in that area, uh, because uh, police think it is about information. You not get any, any, any information. But actually, when you go there and you naively follow the information that you're being given and use it, you can very soon learn an ambush. They can actually mislead you to go to a place where the people are and you are there. Mm -hmm. The relationship between the security officers and the local police of uh, the population in those areas is very bad. That's why even locals in the break when the policeman is killed. I don't know what happened to them. I don't know why, why, why this, all these pandemics are bouncing those, those, those in the mountain that you have. They celebrate at home when they go off. So the idea of bringing people uh, uh, on board is a very good one, a noble one, but it's going to take a bit of time. Don't just wake up and say, there's a security issue, call the market, call the Bogot, call the Sukana, sit down, talk. Again, in most cases, those meetings are going to be corrupted by, by those types. Yeah. They yeah. just come and they're shooting all over the place and they're going to come back and be yeah. Because they don't want even people to meet up. Mm -hmm. so, um, like, you know, like the court, if they come to an area, the time is for them to display. Mm -hmm. They don't really want to be full of that area suspicion. But you can not really get aggressive. Yeah. But even the, when, when the past was official, they want you to, 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 to progress together. They want you to move you. So you can move. So, the volume of the people is good. It will take a bit of time. That should be natural. But, but I know if politicians are actually forced, mm -hmm. I know they know that there are consequences for inciting communities against each other. Yeah? I'm, I'm sure we can find this. Okay. But what are the ones who you know that they fund these animals and give them money? I've seen a politician you know, after a meeting, he remains behind and he gives three boys 300,000. It's for what? Mm -hmm. So yes, for five years of ammunition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I believe you are not going to Basically, you understand what you're trying to do. Yeah. And they really want to, to appear to be, you know, to, 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 you don't want to be liked mm -hmm. by their local communities. And being liked sometimes it means that you have to obey mm -hmm. what they are doing. Mm -hmm. Criminals have to secure the I didn't say that I've got better weapons than security, really, but not people tend to protect you. I said I've got very sophisticated weapons. Some of them which are not issue to our security committees and they are including MC. People on them to me I can tell you that two days later we recovered three MC weapons in Samburu. And those firearms are deadly, they are lethal. You can groom other police that in Mosaro. It's not just a firearm that is there and use. And I mean uh, you remember when uh, America had issues in Somalia, we in the same battle between uh, and America left in the heart. They left so many so many of the weapons in the and those are the reasons that have done their work in some of those uh, aspects and other aspects. Yeah. The government must put money where its mouth is. I've not seen any resources deployed in that place. That place needs a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Like, 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 I think it was the Marshall Plan. The government must just budget billions of money towards the North Pole and open up that area in terms of infrastructure, as I've said, let us have enough schools. So now today, children walk for very long distances to go to school. When you are in school, you are told that you are going to Australia. And that boy goes back and never go back to school again. Yeah, and that boy to Australia, the police will not respond to go to no road. So let us invest in infrastructure, physical infrastructure. Let us have roads. Let us have water, sufficient water. Because some people just fight over water. Mm -hmm. Is it? Mm -hmm. Let us create other economic opportunities in that area. That even they're just good for pastoral reasons. Let us even improve uh, the quality of livestock through artificial uh, insemination. Let us have all these things, a complete plan, and let us have people working with the responsibility. When they wake up every day, they know that the responsibility is to transform the North Rift. Even because you have to do a lot of But like an artist, you go there when people are caught, then you go back. You go there again when people are caught. Yeah, but there must be just people who are focused from all these, these parts that I've mentioned. Child with the responsibility of transport from that place and let the government put money there. Mm -hmm. That is going to solve this problem. Let us force the children to go to school and stay there. Even if it means 
building boarding schools, uh, equipping them, staffing them adequately, so be it. Initially, I was going to be the reason I tried to open a road uh, around that capital. It was very difficult to open. We tried to use the GST and any type of road construction. So even criminals don't want the road. We tried even to have water through the GDC, the Dama Development Authority in, 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 um, in, in Baringo. Mm. Yeah? But those fellow, same fellow that we think we need water were supporting the same project. And we are not figure to satisfy Amaga much. So this facility, the larger population, actually over 95 percent of the population, we need this. But there's another five percent that's thriving in this kind of environment. Because even as everybody is crying about the there are people who are benefiting from this. Some of them are cartels, some of them are a bit, a bit in Nairobi, people are pulling the strings. They are benefiting. So any effort the government makes to restore law and order in the north, somebody will quietly fight it underneath. Now there are some people are including the government who are on that table that plans on how to, to improve things and authority, who are benefiting from the chaos. If you are a very keen observer, you see that these chaos have some order. They're being orchestrated. They don't just happen. They're planned. Who is doing this? There's somebody who is up there who is managing the chaos uh, in, in the military. Who is this person that the government can't, can't get, that the government has got all the intelligence? We need to get these fellows. Once we remove them, because now they're the two sons. These fellows who are working around the pyramids cannot do anything without this force providing the, the support. But the government must put forces in that way. Um, we, for us, we just continue asking for, for peace. Notice to part and part of this country. Uh, so they are part of the notary as well. Uh, we believe that if there is peace and we live in that way, freedom transfer will thrive, will thrive more.